how about this? I will now do 10 minutes of quick Q and A. This is gonna be practice for me because I stopped doing like professional interviews a while back. Haven't gone to cons, haven't done stage performance. I will answer short questions for 10 minutes and then we're gonna do some typing. I'm gonna get some work done and you have the opportunity to get some work done too. Best book I read this year. I mean, I'm right now I'm rereading Naomi Novik's Scholomance, which I'm, I really enjoyed. Uh, just read your books and I'm obsessed. Not a question, but we're going to allow it. The best pizza topping combination. I mean, there is no best, but there there is sort of, you know, because it depends on mood and person. But man, uh, pepperoni and, and Canadian bacon or pepperoni and like bacon bacon is very, very good. Do I ever listen to podcasts about my... Uh, then there's some elegiac speech books. No, I don't. I'm aware that there are some. There was one called Page a Day where every day they would just talk about a page of my book and it went on for years because there's a lot of pages. And that was so cool. And I really, I always kind of wanted to say, hey, you guys are cool for doing this. It was just some friends hanging out and fucking around. It was it was cool. It was neat. I love that idea. I just, I just can't engage with things the way that I used to. There's just so much and... Plus my business, plus the charity, plus being a dad, and plus there's a lot of stuff in my life I don't talk about that just eats up time and energy. That is an Ari painting in the background, and uh, Skoy's just landed on that with the link to, you can buy posters in the World Builder store. I'm in love with Elodin. Do you think Elodin has any romantic interests? Man, Elodin fucks, let me tell you that. <laughs> Elodin fucks, that would be a great blurb for Name of the Wind. Does Tempe Sword have a name like Foth's? Yes. Am I planning more stories like Lightning Tree? Not planning, but I would like to do. Oh, any plans to do a live stream with Butcher for his upcoming novella? What novella is that? Uh, I didn't know. My word per minute typing speed. I mean, if you don't take into consideration the mistakes I make and having to correct things, uh, 30, 40, 50. Will we ever find out exactly what Devi did to be expelled? I mean, most of what she did is be a woman who doesn't make a habit of eating shit. Sanderson himself said it to me once. I, I We were having dinner, and this was, Jesus, upwards to 10 years ago. And I said, you know, you could dial it back a little bit. You're making me look like a fucking chump with all the books you write. And he goes, he goes, what do you mean? And I'm like, I'm like, you just write. And he, and he goes, well, I'm not. A language writer like you it's like you you care about words and i don't he was also i'm a compulsive drafter and you're a compulsive reviser so of course i write a bunch if you hear something about a work of fiction that was not part of the work of fiction here's the thing you're free to make your own bad choices and that includes reading the back of books reading introductions watching a video that describes the plot of a movie before you watch the movie do whatever you want but when somebody tells a story there's a reason that they don't put a bunch of information at the beginning of the story and that's because it's not how the story goes do you want to hear how about this do you want to hear the end of the end of the trilogy? Do you want to hear what happens to Kvothe? Want to hear how Ari dies? Huh? Want to hear any of that? Oh, no, wait, she doesn't die. Or does she? Does she? Right? Yeah? No? Okay. And if you acknowledge that you shouldn't know those things not in their time, then I am right. And when you read a story for the first time, you want to get those things as they come. Now, are there things that you can appreciate in different ways if you know some stuff ahead of time? Yes, obviously. But the sixth sense is not made better by you knowing the secret the first time you watch it. Because you only get to watch it and experience it the first time one time. And that is the first time. So do that. And then you watch it again. And it's a whole different movie. Because the story is designed that way. And you can believe whatever you want, but you will be wrong if you don't trust me on that. I'm not still teaching at the UW. I mean, no, Ari, Ari doesn't die. Ari, Ari and Sim get together um, after Fella dies. 
Uh, it's 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 very touching and heartbreaking. I'm not talking about nonlinear narratives. I'm talking about a linear narrative that you're fucking up by not doing it the way that if you if you want to experience a story the way the story exists, the way the author intended, and share that experience that they have intended to convey and and share the experience with the other people who have also enjoyed the work, do it. And if you want to do the equivalent of like mortifying your own flesh and taking off your clothes and running down the street like a fucking maniac and not be a part of civilized society and just shit everywhere, then go ahead and do that. And if you don't want a story the way the author intended, go read a different story. I mean, I'm not saying you need to go read a book where a hundred dogs die and feel all those feelings. I'm saying if it's a book about dog dying and you don't like that, don't try to read it in a different way to mitigate because that's what that book is for. I have my own intentions of experiencing the stories. Why should I prioritize yours? Because I'm a fucking professional and it's my story. You get to come along because I say so. If you want to write your story, be my guest. This one's mine. This is my house. <laughs> now, see, everyone is like, why is Pat so sexy right now? I'm like, oh, no. What? Oh, boy. I feel like there's something to be said here about toxic masculinity or something. Is the like when I'm angry, am I more like, am I more attractive? That's not healthy. I mean, it is nice to be attractive, although, like, what the fuck is that? Where is that from? Spicy Rothfuss. Yes, extra spicy Rothfuss. Oh, you're right. It's aggression is viewed as a marker of testosterone. Yeah, it's from, it's, that's a bunch of junk code from back in the monkey days. Passion literally means anger, everyone. There's the connotation is that it's romance. Look it up in the dictionary. The, the, the original definition is passion is, is anger. Hold on. Everybody's all like, wait, passion, da 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 da. Yep, let's look it up. Help me, Webster's. You're my only hope. Interesting. Uh, there's the whole Christ angle. Obsolete passion. And, and in that respect, uh, that obsolete means uh, passion is suffering. An outbreak of anger. Like, as in a crime of passion. And again, nowadays, people are like, oh, a crime of passion means they were overwhelmed with love. And they, they acted out of, out of terrible and overwhelmed. Like, but that's a sign of the sickness in our culture that we feel like anger and love are somehow tangled up uh, or, or necessarily and inextricably, like, interwoven. It's not true. It's not healthy. It's, don't do that.